said it. Oh, yeah. Hello, my name's Kevin Bennett. With me today is local comedy actor Bill Ryder. Hi, Bill. Hi, Kevin. The first question. <laughs> when did you start acting? Uh, what time is it now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, um, I guess, you know, when I, the, when I grew up, all the guys that I used to hang around with were actors. I mean, we used to, the, our biggest thrill was watching Funorama, and Funorama's still on, on Channel 12, and watching the Three Stooges. And then we'd go to school the next day, and we'd do Three Stooges bits. Uh, but you probably want to know, Kevin, when I started acting professionally. Well, Funorama's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I remember another time when the guys and I, no. Um, I was a disc jockey on CKLG. And uh, you're supposed to go, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I was on CKLG FM, mm -hmm. which became C Fox, didn't it? I think, yeah. And uh, one of the first things I did was a stage play called Of Mice and Men, where I played Lenny. Are you familiar with that play, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. That was on 10 years ago, right? Or 15 years ago. Yeah, that, I guess it's about that mm -hmm. then, yeah. And uh, I don't know, it's just something I've always done. You know, it's, uh, remember, we were, I think we were talking about money. <laughs> during the course of one of our conversations, because Kevin and I have... How do I know which camera's on here? There's supposed to be a light that goes on. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, camera one. No, sorry. Uh, during one of Kevin and my conversations together, uh, we spoke, to, spoke about money, right? Yes. And, of course, in the business that I'm in, you know, we'll do it for free. You know, we'll go out in the corner. I, I've mm -hmm. done 10 minutes when I got on a bus, you know, to a bus driver, you know. But uh, the thing is that you also have to remember that you're in, in this profession for money. This is how you mm -hmm. make your money. This is, there's no other way. You know, I could go back to being a porter on the CNR, but uh, that's not much fun, you know. So you have to divide the two things up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Did you ever have a starving artist period? Uh, or did you take other jobs to support yourself at the time? No, but when I was fired from LG, mm -hmm. CKLG, there was a six-month period when I didn't work. And I thought, it's over. You know, I guess, yeah, I guess it will be the grain doors of the CNR again, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, no, after that, it's been pretty good. Knock on Arborite. <laughs> <laughs> so how many years at LG? Um, I guess about two years. Yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, I did a rhythm and blues and jazz show. I'm, I have a rhythm and blues jazz and jazz record collection. And uh, two years on LG... What was the question? <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, you know, I want to tell kids out there, don't do drugs. <laughs> because, did you see just then how I forgot the question? And, you know, this is a direct result of the 70s, because after, and I didn't work for six months, I did a lot of drugs, and every once in a while, it does, it'll kick in again, and, and I don't even know, where am I now, Kevin? I don't even know. I'm studying. Oh, Capilano College. Oh, thank God. I'm studying always the trend a bit here. Uh, you're, Do you have... You're well known for a series of, <laughs> for a series of beer commercials. Uh, Go on, you little mugwall. <laughs> well, you know... They're great, by the way. Thank how you much, very How much input do you have in those commercials? Uh, I like to say, because it is a neat thing for me as an mm -hmm. actor to have perused the script and realized that Gee, there's not really a funny line in this, you know, not a really a, a line that will catch people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, in that first one we did where I come in and I say, uh, yo, honey, I'm home. You know, mm -hmm. did you bring the cool, crisp kokanee? <laughs> and I think the line was, yes, I did. <laughs> you know, oh, I read it. Yes, I did. No, I think I'll... So I thought, you know, what can I use here? Uh, we're both Sasquatches. God knows we live in the woods and <laughs> probably have animal friends. So... <laughs> I thought, you know, yo, weasel lips, you know, no, they won't go for that, right? Yo, and I, and I sat down, first take, and I said, yo, my little mugwump. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and well, you see, <laughs> one, one guy, yeah. one guy loves it. <laughs> and he doesn't drink, unfortunately. But <laughs> no, and it's, yes, it's been successful because every, as a matter of fact, my wife hates it because we go into uh, Woodward's, you know, and, mm -hmm. and guys are coming by and saying, was it the mugwump? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, uh, darling, <laughs> you go to Woodward's alone from now on. <laughs> no, everywhere I go now, people are saying mugwump or, you know, hey, fat boy. <laughs> I don't know. <that's laughs> so they've been successful. But it's interesting. Now, I know 
your teacher's over there, and he said, you know, cut him off, because he'll go on for 12 hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it is interesting about different commercials, mm -hmm. because I've been known over the last 12 years as Mr. Toyota, right? Yes. You know, there's a Toyota Easy guy. Tell, yeah, and, well, no, it's Kokanee now. It's Mr. Mugwump, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> right? So, as you do things, mm -hmm. you know, especially when your name's not that well known, yeah. As you do things, you're known by different titles. That's you know? the thing, because I think so many people, like everybody in this room has mm. seen or heard you in some capacity, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm bringing Bill Ryder up today. Who's Bill Ryder, you know? Yeah, Sasquatch yeah. reference. Who said that, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fellow, the big guy, always the big guy. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Columnist Denny Boyd had some nice things to say about you and Jackson yeah, Davies. Yeah, it was very good, and uh, it's surprising what a little bit of money can do, you know? <laughs> You sent him 20 bucks in the mail. <laughs> no, it was very... I wrote uh, Denny after that, actually, mm -hmm. and said, you know, if my mom, my dad, and my wife wrote the article, I don't think mm -hmm. they could have written a nicer article, yeah. So, Denny, if you're watching... No, no. Thank you. There was a reference, though, to Coal Buckethead. Coal Buckethead was a little strong, I thought. <laughs> I thought he was talking about Jackson. <laughs> Jackson Davies, yes, Coal Buckethead. <laughs> and I reread it, and it was me. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I... To him now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm got a cold bucket head. That was kind of look at Boyd. <laughs> now I'm getting excited. No, I'll see him find a bucket. No, um, <laughs> you are your own agent. I'll get him for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're your own agent. I understand. Do you yes. enjoy that part of the business? Yeah, of course. And you know, obviously, we mm -hmm. talked about money mm -hmm. just a minute ago. You know, mm -hmm. and money is important. Who thinks money is important here? <laughs> the same guy put up his hand. <laughs> he likes beer and money. No. Um, so, and I enjoy, uh, I shouldn't say too much here, Kevin, you know, because you shouldn't talk about money either. <laughs> there are the, there's one you actor in town. Does that work? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's one, that's right, and you bought the coffee twice. That's right, yeah, 15 cents. <laughs> but uh, there's one actor in town who always talks about money whenever he's interviewed, mm -hmm. and it's not right. You know, uh, we don't, Oh, and I'm, now I'm starting to suck hole. <laughs> we don't make that much money. <laughs> no, no, the Americans make much more money than we do. <laughs> but I don't think it's right to talk about yeah. money, uh, so shut up, okay, Kevin? <laughs> but you should, always, that, yeah. <laughs> you should always make sure mm -hmm. that you know your own worth. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never do a job if I'm not satisfied with the money. Let's see. Because... Uh, if things go wrong, right, and, and someone says, oh, uh, Phil, sorry, uh, we said eight hours, we're going to have to go 12 on this. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, dum, 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 up comes the money. And the money is now staring you in the face going, that wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was enough for eight hours, but now they've got me doing this. And if you get the money that you want, then you can forget it. Mm -hmm. You've got the money, you've already talked about that. Okay, the money's aside now. Now get on with the job which you love, right? Yes. Which you would do 12 minutes to a, for the bus driver yes. for nothing, right? Or a Sasquatch. Or, a, <laughs> or do 12 minutes as a Sasquatch, yes. You were on the Dr. Mandolo Pandemonium Medicine Show. For was. Which ran, or was, which yeah. ran for eight years. What was that like? Ten, actually, but... Ten? Oh, what was that like? Um, did I tell you eight? <laughs> Is that why you gave me the narrow eye? Then he points at eight. Points at eight. Yeah. Well, it's the same guy that called me cold bucket. <laughs> Can we believe him? You know what I mean? Um, that was wonderful. Uh, it was a CBC national radio play, mm -hmm. or national radio show. And uh, one fellow wrote it, a guy called Danny Thatchuk. Mm -hmm. um, people like Norm Groman, the weatherman on BCTV, who... I don't know, a lot of people don't know this, but Normie is a wonderful mimic. Um, he can hear a voice. Uh, he has a Jamaican friend who, uh, Normie does a better Jamaican patois than the Jamaican oh, friend. Really? And they went to see a movie. Remember The Harder They Come? Mm -hmm. And Normie and, and the Jamaican guy are s sitting there, and uh, the Jamaican guy says, what, what they say now, Norm? <laughs> Normie says, well, he says he's going up to the valley because he, you know, <laughs> Normie's just a great actor, too. Mm -hmm. But it, he doesn't call himself an actor. He's one of those people who is probably a better actor than 99% of the actors around, but doesn't know it and doesn't call himself an actor. Uh, there was Marla Groper mm -hmm. and Bill Buck. Uh, I'm hurrying it up because I spent too much time on Norm. <laughs> but... Uh, 
we went to places. Remember I, when we were outside, and it's, I don't know what the weather's going to be like when people see this, but it's awfully cold right now. And mm -hmm. I said, gee, this reminds me of when we went to the University of Alberta, because mm -hmm. we used to travel around with Mandolo. And uh, so 10 years on the air was a wonderful comedy show. Uh, and this may sound negative, but I mean it totally positive. If I do nothing better mm -hmm. than I've already done it, that's oh, really? how good it was. That's how much fun it was. Do you have any interesting stories about the uh, behind the scenes uh, action? Yeah, that took place? there's one story, but couldn't tell it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <It> involves... <laughs> <laughs> tell us about your stage history. Um, you did your Mice of Men. You yeah, of Mice of Men. Uh, Tevia, Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, really? What uh, did you play in Fiddler on the Roof? Tevia. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, so they're funny. making fun of you, okay, Kevin? I'm not, okay? He's going... <laughs> and, this, and this guy's a teacher, okay? And he's going... <laughs> Kevin, I'd like to talk to you a little later. Okay? <laughs> Get out of here, Kevin, okay? Really? <laughs> Take that job. Where was it? Toronto? <laughs> <It's like cocaine. laughs> um, but stage... Mm -hmm. um, stage takes... Yeah, I was just asked to do... Uh, yeah, it's going on yeah. Salt Spring mm -hmm. at the Arts Club. Uh, unfortunately, um, things happened and I can't, I, I'm not able to do it. Uh, I'd love to get back on stage because there is that, you know, just now talking to the audience, yeah. you know, just relating is so nice. Uh, it, because it, all of a sudden you bring the audience on stage with you and mm -hmm. it's like a whole bunch of people having fun. Yeah. You know, I don't know much about. Uh, the theory of acting. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I know there are books written about it, and there's something called a fourth wall. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what that is. I just heard someone talk about it, but I've never had any trouble acting on stage. You know, I guess so in the interim, there uh, the doctor, the short-lived Doctor Mandolo TV series was sort of a yeah go between them. Well, the the television show mm -hmm. uh, lasted a year, and uh, I guess suffice to say. Here's the guy who says, don't talk about money, and he's going to talk about money. <laughs> but suffice to say that you, it is very difficult to do an hour television show mm -hmm. under the gun of such things as having a $50 budget for costumes. An hour television show and $50 for costumes. You know, excuse me, you buy me a t-shirt <laughs> and like, you know, 2XL and they're like about 20 bucks already. <laughs> so you got $30 left and Norm doesn't get a t-shirt, right? So... That's well, Norm though. Yeah. That's Norm again. We're talking about Norm again. It's my interview. Come on. Was Jackson Davies on that show for time? He was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember uh, a real funny sketch with, uh, a sketch with the, uh, they had the, uh, it was some loggers up north. Oh, that's and right. And every second word was... Yeah, honk. Beep. Was honk. Oh, honk. That's actually. right. Yeah, and that, you know... And what made that funny was, mm -hmm. oh, honk off, <laughs> you know? So honk off, everybody, honk off. Hey, I know the word. <laughs> but what made that skit funny was <laughs> taking it to its extreme. Oh, you honk and honk hole. <laughs> funny, it was funny on TV, but <laughs> obviously just bombed right here. <laughs> oh, tough audience you got here. The curl, I know. Tough group. <laughs> Where can we look forward to seeing you in the future? Uh, you know the super value at Middlegate? <laughs> I saw you there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll, see you oh, I'll be there again. <laughs> uh, in the future, I don't know. There's nothing really planned. Um, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, gee. Um, nothing really planned. Um, some commercials, you know, things like that. Okay. But we're having fun, Kevin, and that's all it counts. That's great. Okay. I'd like to... Uh, Thank Bill Ryder for my, being my guest today, and my name's Kevin Bennett. Thank you. The money, I guess I'll get it later, will I? <laughs> <laughs>